Hi, Sylvie. Hi, Sylvie and Maxie. We hear you had some questions about CNMNE, so we have some answers for you. All right. Um, so, first of all, here's a picture of a sea anemone. So the mouth is in the middle. Um, and these things, which I think you're asking about, the tentacles, those are what kind of trap the food and bring it down into the mouth in the middle, so then it, then it eats. Um, if you know what a jellyfish is, is like, an anemone is just like a jellyfish, only jellyfish are upside down, or, you know, this way, and an anemone is this way. So the tentacles sting the little particles and, and move it down to the middle, to the mouth, so it can, can eat them. Mm -hmm. um, and it eats just about anything that's small enough um, to get uh, stung by it and to fit into its mouth. So it can be little tiny fish, or it can be little tiny crabs, or invertebrates, or just about anything that uh, floats around in the water. Did I tell you last week I saw the one that was eating little crabs, and then it was like spitting out the claws, so it only mm, ate the yeah. middle, or the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, cool Ninnemies and uh, jellyfish, they, they only have one hole, so all the food goes in and then out the same hole. Mm, I didn't know that. Unlike us, that has two holes. Here it is. The one hole. We actually have two ear holes and two nostrils. Calvin's in there saying we have ear holes and nostrils, but that's confusing. <laughs> And then Sylvie had, or I'm sorry, Maxie, well, I guess it was actually Sylvie, had a question about the long, the long noses. So I don't know why exactly fish have long noses, but I think it's because if you're a big fish and you want to eat like a little tiny fish, if you come up to it, the little fish is going to get a, squirt away. But if you have a long nose, maybe you can kind of sneak up to it and then get it before it, it sees you coming. That'd be my guess anyways. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.